You're gonna lead the way, right? Yeah. Hey. <laughs> it's me and Kevin. I never appear on Sylvie's vlogs. No, but you're in the podcast. Yeah. So people know you exist. Yeah. So we just had a crazy day. Uh, I'll preface it. We have Yodkun Pan at the gym most of the time because he lives right next door to it. Yodkun Pan is the elbow hunter. He's awesome. He's the greatest elbow fighter of all time. So he'll just like appear in the gym and like an elf or a I'll just, leprechaun I'll just or be something. doing something and then this legend just walks up and it's like Sylvie and just like talking to me or I get a spar with him or whatever and then three days a week for the past couple of months and into January we have Diesel Noy at the gym Wednesday Thursday and Friday which is fucking insane he's advising at regular training those three days and offering privates and he loves me so anytime he sees me he like beelines over and wants to tell me something talk to me about something show me he something is, uh, he is you ha if you're in Thailand, I'm telling you have to come be, be around him. You don't even have to even train with him. He's like a Muay Thai Just god. Staring. He's like somebody came down from Olympus. His energy is... It's like nothing uh, else. If you love Muay Thai, you love um, Jesus Muay. For sure. Yeah. And then... <laughs> so, it's my favorite time of year because we get to start sending out the monies from the crew fund which we gather all year and then we figure it out and we start sending it out. And so- Well, we, it's the crew fund goes to the Muay Thai library. All the all legends, the legends and crews. crews. Anyone who taught me in the Muay Thai library gets a portion of what we've been collecting all year, which is the sale, 100% of the sale of shorts and shirts. Um, well, and then the, your shorts, my your shorts, shirts. Which I'm actually wearing. Yeah, but um, like Karaha shorts go to him. Karaha goes to Karaha, but my stuff goes to the, to the crews. All the profit. Um, and then 5% uh, of the net of all of Patron um, goes to them. So we start sending it out. And so I had gotten in contact with Hippie. <laughs> it's actually kind of hard to get in contact with Hippie. Very hard. Um, and he was like, don't send it to me. I actually want to send it. To he's from the South. He's actually known as the legend from the South. Um, and he's like, I want to send it to gyms in the South to help them. So I was like, sure, whatever. And he's like, I'm going to be in Patia tomorrow. I'll come by and see you. I haven't seen Hippie. In in more than a year. More than a year. Yeah. Um, and he, I'm like, okay, this may or may not happen. So I sent him the location of the gym. I let Pinu know Hippie might be here, whatever. He actually came. And what's crazy is it seems like he really only came to see me. He didn't it's, do anything in that gym. It's very, very odd. He had a small entourage, which he always does. When you go to his gym, there's always like a, a, like a halo of movie like makers or, or whatever. Mobbish Musicians, people, I don't know. Yeah, Musi yeah I, exactly. Like, what world is that? Just if you don't know who Hippie is, he's in the Muay Thai library. You can Google him and see his Golden Age fights. He is as good as any fighter who ever fought at any time in Thailand. He was just very small. He fought Karahat five times, and I think Karahat won once. I think he won once, and I think there was a draw. I'm going to try to put this down because my arm's getting tired, so I have to look to see if you're in frame. Oh, okay. Does that seem good? Maybe. All right, I'll just hold it. My arm feels a little bit tired because I've actually been working really oh, you just hard. from the gym. <laughs> so, uh... So Hippie basically came to see me, but in the gym we had Hippie, Diesel Noy, and Yod Kun Pan all at once. And this is not a seminar. This is just fucking <laughs> legends. Okay, you want me to hold yes, a little bit? Yes, this is just legends at the gym. And they started, like, playing together. So, uh, Hippie really wanted to show me some things. Um, he remembers that I killed the bag in his gym. This is actually on YouTube, you can see it. He was teaching me how to kick the bag really hard. And I kicked the bag really hard and it fell. <laughs> it was like this glorious Mortal Kombat finish him moment. It was crazy. And he remembered it, which was very, very funny. But so he was working with me, basically like one-on-one -on -one training me in my own gym out of nowhere. Out of nowhere. And then he just got in the ring and started like showing clinching stuff and he and Diesel Noy started working together and then I had to do a burn and he came up and was showing me how he doesn't like the way that I'm kicking and when he started kicking the pad, Pinu's face was just like, that's a fucking hard kick. He is and so he had, strong for he had Hippie his... kicking and then he had Diesel Noy kicking. So he was holding for like two, all time. Pinu is younger than these two. So these are like his idols when he was growing up. Yeah. He was actually in a tournament with Hippie when he was really young and Hippie was um, older and kind of coming down. They were the same weight at 108. They didn't fight each other. But it was this kind of amazing, like, uh, yeah, so legends just walk through my living room periodically. <laughs> I don't. 
I just want to say, Sylvie is an, an amazing persona. You don't try to do any of this. For whatever reason, these legends love you. Like, I'm, maybe it's your little mouse size, your giant heart, how much you love Muay Thai, mm -hmm. uh, that you're not, uh, like you're a woman with this crazy endurance and passion, but they love you and you draw them together. Like, we did not ask Hippie yeah, to I'm come. He just, and and they know each other for sure. They're, well, they're going out to dinner knows, right now with each other. Everybody knows everybody, but that. But they weren't like, let's meet each other. No, it was not a plan. And the other thing is, Hippie is very hard to find. Like, he has a gym in Bangkok. You can go train with him, but it's even hard to find the gym. Yeah, it's hard to find the gym, and you never get the feeling like, well, he'll definitely be there. He's just all over the place. And like he, we watch him on even, Facebook. He shows up at a gym in the south. Even the last time I went to train with him, he didn't give me as much attention as he did today. Absolutely not. <laughs> but it's very beautiful that the library is also pulling these people together. And I think Hippie ended up having so much fun because Dieselmoy was there yeah. and like vibing off they of were, him. They like riffing on each other. Yeah. And, you don't know this, but maybe you do, I shot a shitload of video That's just good. rolling the camera. So let, we'll put that up and maybe give you a vote of, I think we're just going to put it on YouTube. Yeah. Like, but, um, and maybe you could voice over it or something like that. But it was pretty incredible. Yeah. It was an amazing day. I went to just take some still photographs because yeah. I wanted to just commemorate it and I was like shocked. It's it's honestly like if you um, like went to something you do very normally, like you're I don't your you work. went to the gym or yeah. your work or whatever your thing is, and like Jimmy Page and Prince just happened to show up and like jam together. That's so a really like, good that's a really good analogy. Prince, by the way. Yeah, very little. <laughs> I don't know. Something very special is happening at Petron Rung too. We're trying to bring like Diesel Noy in and. The legend, the Moikau Summit happened but, there, and we're like introducing it. It's becoming a legend's gym. We brought Nam Kaboon in for three days. Three days, he was here. Right? Yeah. And, it, and then Nam Kaboon is like, I'm going to become a trainer. Like, yeah. he's like, I'm going to go. Like, we brought him in, and suddenly he's, what's happening? Yeah. He's like, now he's um, working on his skills as a trainer to like actually train people. Yeah. Whereas before he was just knew a bunch of shit and can like show you. Yeah, but what I'm saying is that Petron Rung is becoming this very quiet epicenter of technique, Golden Age legends, Sylvie probably the, the there's no clinch fighter, female clinch fighter like you in the world. Like it's just like it's a, becoming a very interesting gym. It's not there for Westerners. It's just like this cosmopolitan, you know, like. In, in world history, there were times when, you know, the East and the West mixed at Constantinople or in uh, trade cities. Mm. This gym is starting to bubble up. In a very, the road. <laughs> it is in a very <laughs> weird way, and it, because it doesn't want to be something, it's not really chasing big money it or is a small or big fighters. Family gym, like very humble, like. And when, no and, and when these legends come in there, that's what real Muay Thai is. But Hippie's gym Kevin, is a family gym. He's got ten kids. Hippie has ten children. They're running around. One of crazy. them is a baby. It's crazy. His gym is amazing. Um, it's so informal, but they create really good fighters. Yeah. Um, he pulls a lot from the South. He's very much into like representing and supporting the South. Um. But one of the things that you were saying that we're bringing legends in, one of the reasons we're doing this is part of the Legends in Residence, which is this thing that because of the position that I'm in, I'm such a weird outsider and I'm going and I'm training with all these legends and trying to preserve not only the technique, but archive these men themselves. Something that was kind of uh, evident was that some of the most amazing technique and amazing men of the Golden Age are not in contact with living Muay Thai anymore. Hippie is. He Hippie has, is. A, he he has, has a his own gym. gym. Yeah. But like, With Thai boys. But like, Thai fighters. Diesel Noy does these like seminars and kind of like training courses and um, kind of is like a ambassador in a lot of yeah. positions. 
but putting him like plugging him into the gym where he can like yell at bank and like and watch the Thai boys develop fight at fight to fight but there's and... there's these bookends of like contemporary Muay Thai like living Muay Thai has changed a lot because it has to because you have to adapt to the way it's being scored and the way that it's being viewed and consumed and Yes, a lot of the technique is being lost. It's not the same as the Golden Age at all. So that's the like current bookend of contemporary Muay Thai. And it's real and it's beautiful. And it's not like a shadow of Muay Thai. It is real living Muay Thai. And then you have the Golden Age of these legends who are kind of aging out of within 10, 15 years being able to teach this like vast knowledge that they have. And these bookends are not touching mostly, in a lot of ways. Mostly. Like, like Samson Hassan. A taxi, a taxi driver. driver. <laughs> like literally a taxi driver, fighter of the year, 1991. Yeah. And so you you inject them together and it's fucking beautiful. It's like, and th- what it's happened, like what happened today grandpa was, is teaching what happened, to, like some, we, we orchestrate bringing them together. We're like, put this in the stew and then put that in the stew and then you cook it. What happened today was totally spontaneous. That's what was fucking freaky about it. It was like it my was oven spon- made muffins. Yeah, it was it's very spontaneous. It was, weird. it was very cool. It was beautiful. Kevin watched the whole thing. I experienced the whole thing. So I just got my ass kicked you were buffeted. for like a bunch of you hours. You were buffeted by waves. Thank God Pinu trains me the way he does so that when it goes like that, yeah. it's a hard day, but I can handle it rather than a like... Yeah. I also want you, you to get that fucking uh, thumb down, arm loop move that well, he taught you. Maybe I'll do a technique vlog on this or something because it's hard to describe. Mm, you have to actually get feel it first. It's a little bit like something Nam Saknoi showed me, so if you guys are patrons, you can see it in a coming an upcoming uh, library session with okay. Nam Saknoi. Okay, I'm ready to go up now. <laughs> Eric Khan. Thanks, thanks for our, our mutual vlog that Kevin never does with me, but this is post-training. This is the real deal. I this is you. the real deal. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you. <laughs> <I guess. laughs>